Okay, my objective for today is to clean up this place and organize it because it is a mess. And after that, I'm gonna finally show you my studio. Um, I've been wanting to do a studio tour for a little bit now and I'm really happy with how the space is looking. So let me get back to cleaning up and then I'll show you around. This is my ceramic studio and this is where I spend most of my time these days. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you might notice that things have changed around quite a bit. Um, as I continue to spend more time in here, I run into more efficient ways to work and I try to change the space according to that. So it's kind of ever changing and the way I'm going to show you it today in a few months from now, it might be completely different. Um, but yeah, let me just show you around a little bit. So let's start with these shelves behind me here. I used to use these shelves to put my throne pieces on, but that was just not a very good way uh, to do it because these shelves are made out of metal and it means that I would have to put down a piece of paper so that the clay wouldn't stick to the metal and it was just a big mess and kind of a hassle to do it that way. So I have now dedicated these shelves to storing glazes and other materials and I have a new shelving system that is awesome. I'll show you it in a second. Uh, but it's wooden boards I can take off and um, it's just much easier to work with. Next is my wedging table. This is where I prepare my clay and on top is a plaster board where I can reclaim used clay. This thing is a little kitchen island type thing from Ikea and it's all right. It does the job and it works for now. Um, I really like that it has storage underneath. This is where I keep some of my tools and my bats. And then it also has some drawers where I just keep like my scale and uh, glaze brushes and whatnot. Next to my wedging table is my tiny little packing station. This thing is very flimsy and it's very small. It's not very convenient to pack things in at all because I have to move things around when I'm packing orders and I really want this differently. Um, I want a larger table and I also would love to get a bit more storage uh, in here where I can put some of my other packing materials like my packing peanuts and my bigger boxes because right now those are in a totally different uh, part of the room as well. It's just not the best and I think this is the uh, space that needs the, um, the most improvement. So now let me take you on to the other side of my studio. So this is the part of the space where I throw all of my pieces and this here is my beloved Shimpo RK 3D. I love this wheel, it's super quiet, it's really sturdy, uh, it's easy to clean and to me this is the perfect wheel. I'm really happy that I invested in it. The stool is something that needs to be upgraded in the future because it's very cheap and very hard. Um, after I sat on it for a few hours, my butt hurts, so <laughs> I need to find a better stool, but for now, it's fine. And then against the wall here, I have my most recent purchase, and it is amazing. It's a bench, <laughs> as you can see, um, but what's so amazing about this bench is that I can put it right next to me uh, as I work, and that means I can lift up any piece that I've thrown, and put it right next to me on the wear board. This thing was half price at the hardware store. Uh, it's recycled wood. It looks great. And then, um, yeah, I'm just really happy that I found this thing. The wear board that I place my pieces on is part of my new shelving system, which is awesome as well. I have seen this shelving system many times in other potters studios and I understand now why it's so popular because it's super versatile, it's really easy to um, 
move your pieces around the studio as you work and you can change the shelving um, according to the pieces that you have. So if you have like a taller vase or something, you can just uh, change up where the shelf is on the rails and yeah, it's, it's awesome. I can totally see myself expanding these all the way to the ceiling because I love them so much. Uh, as I continue to make more work and, you know, really happy with that change. So this here is Daisy Mae because she brings in the turnips. Uh, this is my lovely 50 liter kiln that I got from a local kiln maker here in the Netherlands. Uh, it's a wonderful little compact kiln that can plug right into the regular outlet, which is awesome and it can still reach up to stoneware temperatures and even um, porcelain temperatures so this is a really really great little kiln this is the little black box that it comes with with all my kiln programs i'm hoping to put this on the wall in the future because it's a bit you know it's just kind of floating around everywhere right now um and then up here i kind of want to put all of my kiln uh, kilnware so my my little pillars and my kiln boards and this is kind of a work in progress. I still need to organize this a bit better because it's a bit messy, but when I fire this, of course, I reel it out from under the uh, shelf, away from the wall and away from the wood. Uh, she has wheels, so yeah, this is like my little kiln corner. Something I also want to do is put up a list of all my um, kiln programs on the wall. I think I'm gonna make a little cute list or illustration that I can put on a wall there just to make it look a bit nicer too. Finally, we have the big shared table in the middle of the studio space. This is an old science lab table and it is perfect for working with ceramics. We do a lot of glazing here, we do a lot of sculpting here, and you can see some of my friend Charlotte's work right here. She makes beautiful porcelain jewelry and her work is absolutely stunning. I'll leave her info in the description below so you can go check it out. Uh, but yeah, this table is just really, really great. So that's the studio. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. Every day when I walk in here, I feel very inspired and I think that's exactly what an artistic space should be. Um, I want to get some more plants in here and I'm also hoping to put some more art in the walls. Um, and if anyone has a good recommendation for a comfortable stool, I would love to hear. Please let me know. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.